A nerve cell uses the concentration differences in sodium and potassium ions across its membrane to conduct action potentials. A pump, called the sodium-potassium pump, builds up these gradients by exporting sodium from the cell and importing potassium. Although the exact mechanism for shuttling sodium and potassium is not entirely clear, experimental evidence suggests the following model. The cycle begins with the pump open to the inside of the cell. In this conformation, the pump has a relatively high affinity for sodium ions which bind to the pump. When bound by sodium, the pump is a substrate for phosphorylation by the high-energy molecule ATP. The energy requirement in this step is estimated to account for 20 to 40 percent of the brain's energy consumption. The phosphorylation triggers a conformational change in the pump. In the new conformation, the pump has a relatively low affinity for sodium, which it releases outside the cell. The pump now has a relatively high affinity for potassium, which binds to the pump. Potassium binding triggers the dephosphorylation of the pump. Without the phosphate group, the pump returns to its original conformation. Back in its original conformation, the pump has a relatively low affinity for potassium, which it releases into the cell. For every three sodium ions that are taken out of the cell, the pump transports two potassium ions into the cell. This net loss of one positively charged ion for each round of pumping results in a very small electrical current. For this reason, the sodium-potassium pump is said to be electrogenic.